If you want to avoid tie rod snappage on the trail, there is an incredibly oh. simple upgrade that you can install on your Bronco in a matter of minutes. Now, if any of you guys have been around the new Broncos on the forums or anything like that, you guys have seen a ton of these things snapping tie rods out on the trail. Uh, it's kind of the Achilles heel of this whole thing. A lot of people are doing it. And our friends at Bron Bronc Buster decided to address the problem and they came out with their tie rod braces, which I'm sure you guys have seen. Uh, they also addressed the rack failure by doing a bushing. We've been super pumped with Tyler and the team at Bronc Buster for all the work and the R&D that they've been doing trying to make this thing better. So to that note, we're out here at Big Bear Bronco Bash and we are out here obviously to hang out with our Bronco friends. We're about to hit a trail as you guys can see, but we're also here to do some testing and show you guys how these Bronc Buster braces work. So before we head into that part of the video, we're gonna go back to the shop and show you guys how to install these things. So for today's install, the product that is sure to keep those dinky tie rods intact, we have got the hot off the presses Bronco Buster tie rod braces along with the Bronco Buster rack bushing that I'll be installing on my 2021 Sasquatch Bronco Badlands. Now, the thing to keep in mind is we do have these available on our website at wildhorses4x4.com. We'll circle back to that later, but for now, let's get on with the install. So obviously the first thing to do is remove your wheel and tire. Next, unbolt the tie rod nut and then carefully smack the knuckle until the tie rod works itself loose. Beautiful, mate. Always a good idea to have a hammer, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, uh, in case you guys missed some of my, uh, my old escapades, I've got mud stuffed all up in here still. So, uh, let's see if we can get some of that out so we can get this back clamp off that boot. Now remove the small lower clamp with a set of pliers, then work on popping the back clamp apart. Bronc Buster does provide a new hose clamp, so don't worry about thrashing that thing when you take it off. Once your clamp is off, pull the boot back so you have access to get a wrench on the inner tie rod end once broken loose, twist and remove. Once the tie rod is removed, remove the black plastic retainer. This can be tricky, so be patient. One tip is to turn the tire's passenger so the rack shaft isn't sticking out as far. Okay, so there we go. Totally useless piece of plastic. Again, just something they use in manufacturing. Um, so you could jack that up. You're not gonna be using that. Um, and that actually is the hardest part to get that puppy out. But Tyler has a pretty in-depth explanation on how to get that out better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean uh, the inside of this rack out a little bit, and then we're gonna stuff that bushing in. So now we've got our, uh, our rack bushing stronger than carbon steel. Use the blue installation tool to hammer the bushing into place. Make sure you are bottomed out or you won't be able to install the snap ring. We've got a little snap ring, which we will place in. Use the same tool and pop him in. That rack bushing uh, is in there, the snap ring's in there. So now at this point, all we have to do is throw the tie rod back on and take this thing for a test ride. So uh, we're gonna do that right now, uh, but this is a breeze for any of you guys at home. As long as you guys have the right tools, um, you guys can figure this out, so. So one of the main reasons that we're doing this, uh, this drive to just kind of test and fill stuff out, what the guys at Bronco Buster did was they ended up machining the hole uh, a little bit bigger so that you could get uh, better steering. So we're gonna feel that out, see if there's any difference in what we feel. 
Uh, so we're just going to whip around the block real quick, do, do a few turns. All right, so I mean, so far, turning driver, turning passenger is no big deal at all. Um, you know, kind of uh, goes right back into place. Now I got 37s on mine, but this thing does return to, to center like I want it to. I'm super stoked about that. So uh, no complaints there. We're gonna head back to the shop and we're gonna throw those tie rod braces on. Okay guys, so the Buster brace is super simple. Um, it's literally eight bolts and all we're gonna be doing is sandwiching the inner and outer tie rod only thing to note is there is a left and right brace, so make sure you install the correct one on each side. One side of the brace has a bigger opening for the outer tie rod, so you can't really install these wrong. Alrighty guys, so there you have it. The brace and the bushing install. Again, we didn't go dive too deep into the actual install of this thing. For this video, we wanted to focus more on the review side of this thing. But again, check out Tyler and Bronk Buster's channel. It'll be linked in the description. Uh, if you've got any questions, leave them down below or check out some of their videos. Alrighty, folks. So again, we're out here at Big Bear Bronco Bash Big Bear. We are on Gold Mountain Trail, I believe. We're gonna be showing you guys some footage of the tie rod braces now. Um, obviously we installed them in my Bronco. Um, they've been installed in uh, the white two-door for quite some time now. We've taken it on a few different trails, um, but we're gonna show you guys uh, just some of the, the different abuse that a tie rod may take. So Big Bear Bash wasn't insanely difficult. It definitely had its moments, but to show you more intense terrain, let's check out some previous abuse that we've taken the white two-door through. In all these clips, it's worth mentioning that the buster braces and the bushing were installed. For high speed off-road, we wanted to highlight the fact that the braces don't get in the way of performance even when the suspension is bouncing around on unpaved roads. We had the same idea with turning, we just wanted to show you that there is no interference or binding when using this brace.
Alrighty folks, so there you have it. I hope you learned a little bit more about the brace and how it can help you on the trail have a better day. I can tell you for a fact that if these braces and the bushing were not installed, there were definitely some spots on trails that we've been on with this Bronco where uh, we definitely could have seen some tie rod snappage. Um, so super happy, super pumped that we're working with Tyler and the team at Bronc Buster. Uh, again, they're doing some great things and we're super excited that we haven't had to replace the tie rods on this thing yet. With that said, couple things that we want to note before we end the video, and that is that there are some other options as far as ways to keep your tie rods from snapping. There's things like tie rod sleeves that you can install on your Bronco. Those are cool, maybe a little bit cheaper, but you are going to have to pay for an alignment afterwards. So just keep that in mind with the brace. There's no alignment needed. It's just a few minutes of work, you know, a little bit of elbow grease and you are back out there on the trail. Uh, ready to tear it up. The other thing to know is Bronc Buster has also come out with a billet rack housing that we will soon be installing on our rigs. We're going to highlight several issues that still exist with your stock rack and how these upgrades will help. So definitely stay tuned for that video. And with that said, that is a wrap to this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely leave a comment down below. Let us know what you guys think of the setup so far. We've got a bunch of fun stuff coming for you guys. You definitely want to subscribe if you're not already. Become one of the horsemen. We would love to have you. Uh, like this video, share it with a friend. It helps us out a lot. And with all of that being said, we will see you guys out there on the trail. Peace!